Hello and welcome to Channel 2S, everybody. Welcome back to the workbench. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and it's been a good hot minute since we've been over here. I've certainly missed it. As you can see, I have been compulsively building SD Gundams in my absence. However, we're not talking about SD Gundams today because I'm talking about something pretty cool that I got sent from China. Now, you hear the name China and you might be thinking, Dragon Momoko, Supernova. What kind of cool third-party Gundam kit am I gonna be looking at today? Well, it's not a model kit. It's this. So this is a wireless phone charger made by a Chinese company called O2 Project. But wait, don't click off the video. Hear me out. It's a Gundam phone charger. Are you interested yet? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I did a little bit of research and apparently this isn't the first time that O2 Project has made a novelty wireless phone charger. They did also make one that was Magic Circle themed for all those Magical Girl fans out there. However, this time they decided to appeal to the Mecca market with a Gundam themed wireless phone dock. Now just to be transparent, I was not sponsored by the company to say nice things about it. Literally all they did was send me this in the mail. They sent me an email, showed me some pictures of it, said, hey, do you want to review this? I said, sure. They sent it my way, and here we are. With that said though, this video is still sponsored by our trusted favorite, New Type HQ. You guys know the drill by now. They have kits, they have paints, and all that good stuff. Check out the link in the description below and use code channel 2 s for 10% off your order. All right, guys, that's enough waving this box around. I will admit it is a pretty cool box for what it is. It definitely has that fancy high-end electronics feel to it. But let's take this out of the box and have a real good look at it. Okay, well, we're not actually gonna find it in the box because I took it out of the box, assembled it, and tested it before I made this video. All right, so here it is, guys, the O2 Project Gundam Wireless Charger. Now I actually had to turn the white balance down on my camera for this shot because this thing is just so freaking white that it was just blown out all over the place. As you can see, this is definitely a Gundam themed phone charger. Now, based off some of the images I saw of this, I'm assuming they were kind of going for a Freedom Gundam motif. However, that's very clearly not what they were directly basing it off of. You can tell right here by looking at the V-Fin, this is not a Freedom Gundam V-Fin. If anything, I'd say that's probably a Kotsky. And while you can't really tell while the wings are folded up like this, these are 100% Wing Gundam Verica wings. There is no Freedom Gundam to be seen here. Also, while we're talking about the wings, uh, something kind of funny I noticed about this is that there's some cool little decals on one of the wings, and then when they went to flip the text for the other wing, they just completely failed in every way possible. Obviously, the person who made this couldn't actually read English, but even then, it's pretty funny that this actually made it to the final product. Also kind of weird was that the stand this is sitting on that was uh, shipped with the product is actually not part of the device, I don't think, because it came in its own separate box that just says microphone stand, and it has pictures of a whole bunch of microphone stands that aren't actually the stand that you get in the box. The one that actually comes in the box is this one, but in white. But it basically just acts as a desk mount for the device, so you can have it sitting on your desk or your table. It's very simple. It has a nice heavy base to in the bottom, and then there's a ball joint mount that attaches it to the back of this thing very securely. I did have some doubts about the durability of this at first because I found it was popping out if I put basically any amount of pressure on it. However, then I actually looked at the instructions and saw that you're supposed to run a screw through the back of the connector into the charger. And once you do that, this thing is rock solid. It does have a hinge joint allowing for articulation down here and a ball joint at the top. Yeah, I bet you guys weren't expecting an articulation segment in this phone charger review, were you? So as for other stuff you get in the box besides the charger itself and the stand that technically wasn't in the box, you get a manual that's entirely in Chinese, but if you just hit this with some Google Translate, it's pretty easy to understand. You get the screw that's used to mount the socket on the back as well as a couple extras. You get just the tiniest little baby screwdriver that I've ever seen. And finally, you get a USB Type-C cable, which you use to attach the device to a wall block or your car, or your laptop, or whatever. I haven't even bothered taking this out of the little twisty tie because I already have quite a few of these. All right, so to make it a little bit easier to see what this charger does, I have dimmed some of the lights that I'm filming with, so this part of the video is gonna be a little bit on the dark side. However, I do have my computer ready. I've got my USB cable plugged into the bottom here. I'm gonna plug it into the computer, and you get a little light show. It's a little bit brighter in person than it shows up on camera, but it lasts just long enough to make you say, oh, that's cool, without being annoying. So when you're ready to dock your phone, there is a little IR sensor on the bottom of the back panel, and you just hold your phone or your hand up to that. 
and that's when the magic happens. And I gotta say, seeing the wings and the V-fin lift up on this thing, seeing the little light show it does, it's pretty satisfying. And as you can see, it closes right back down on your phone. It kind of adjusts the height of this to accommodate for the size of your phone without any issue. However, you'll notice that the screen on my phone didn't turn on or otherwise give any kind of indication that's charging. And that is because unfortunately, my phone does not support wireless charging. So right now this thing is effectively just acting as a very fancy phone stand. However, that doesn't mean you can't charge a non-wireless phone on this device because, and I didn't even know this was a thing until I got it in hand, I was looking at this and I was kind of messing with it, messing around with it with my phone because I thought, hey, might as well. I noticed there's actually a little gap here in the bottom and that is so you can take your phone with the charging cable attached and just drop the cable down through there. And now you can use your phone while it's in the stand and still have it charge even if it's not a wireless model. Now is this practical? Not really. Is it economical? Not at all. But you can still do it. And I guess now would be also a good time to mention that if you want to get your phone out of the stand, there are these three little ridges underneath behind this blue piece on the bottom of the white section of the body and you just hold your finger against there it's some kind of capacitive button thing and it just activates it it lifts up the top it folds out the wings and you can just take your phone out just like that and kind of unhook the wire if you have a wired phone attached to it and there you go it's that easy and this is where i could end the video however i really don't want to end it here because it wouldn't be satisfying to show off this wireless charger without some actual true wireless charging however as i've mentioned a couple times already in this video my phone does not support wireless charging. So before we end this video, just so you guys can see how well this actually works as a wireless charger, I'm gonna have to recruit a friend to help me out. Okay, so we're here with my friend Ben, who unlike me, actually has a phone that supports wireless charging. Now, Ben has not seen the charger yet, so he doesn't know exactly what it is. So. That's pretty good. From the way you're working up, I was expecting something more cringy. No, That's this is not, really oh, good. you thought this was gonna be like some weird thing? No, Kinda, this is yeah. like, this is legit cool. So I'm gonna plug it in to wake it up. Looks a lot better than the one that I have in my house since it's just a basic Samsung, I think one. There's an IR sensor on the front there. So get your phone and just hold it in front of it. Now set it in. Let's see if I can set it in here. <laughs> and did it charge? Mm-hmm. That's the thing that shows us charging. Well, there you go. That's actually really, really impressive. Isn't it? I really like the, like, clamping down on it, though. Like, yeah, it's cool because it... That's a really nice... It adjusts to the size of the phone. Yeah, because that's actually an issue I have with mine is because I have the case on it, it's just a bit too uh, thick to fit in the groove it makes there. But yeah, the I wasn't actually fine. sure if that yours would even fit at first, but you're, you're like just, just narrow enough to fit in there. I mean, considering that's with a case on, that's pretty good. Now you might be wondering, how do you get your phone out of here? And yeah. the answer is you don't, it just stays in there forever. Sweet. Phones but, uh, are rated anyway. It's basically like an ex extra monitor or something. Yeah, I've actually used it for that with my phone. I'll just use it as just a phone holder. <laughs> I could shoot videos with it, use it like a tripod, although we actually have a normal phone tripod, so I wouldn't really have to. But the way you get the phone out is there's just a little textured area on the bottom left here, and you just hold your finger on that until it opens it up, and then you just take your phone out. And what dimensions are your phone? That's a really good question. I don't know. That looks like probably the largest phone you could reasonably fit within that. Yeah. So whatever phone that is, which is a... Um, LG G7. All right, so that seems to be about the biggest phone you can fit inside of this. But yeah, that's the O2 Project uh, Gundam phone charger. Now, they did give me some uh, links as to where you can buy it. I'm going to put those below, and I'm also going to put an AliExpress link in there as well in case you don't necessarily want to buy it from the place they offered it up, just, just to have some different options. Again, this isn't sponsored. They just sent me a cool product to review, and you know what? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.